Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. Looking at fire potential impacts over the next few days, uh, we are looking at record heat into this weekend. Um, also, uh, thunderstorms across portions of the area into Saturday. Uh, you can see those areas we, where we are expecting storms highlighted in yellow. Uh, these storms will be a mix of wet and dry storms. Um, so it's not a huge dry lightning outbreak, but we are expecting some pretty widespread lightning, especially on Friday across parts of the Great Basin. And so there's concern there um, with quite a bit of lightning expected combined with critically dry fuels. Uh, we're also looking at the potential for some breezy westerly winds this weekend. Over the past 24 hours, there's been really not much in the way of precipitation and uh, no lightning. Uh, this is looking at our fire activity. Uh, there are a few new fires on the map this morning as well as our uh, ongoing fires. Over the past 14 days, conditions have been quite dry, especially across the central and southern portions of the Great Basin. Uh, you can see those areas on the map in the red uh, that are well below normal precipitation. Uh, there is a portion of Nevada that has seen above normal precipitation over the past two weeks. However, things have been much drier over the past week. ERCs are on the rise across much of the area. Uh, across the south, we are looking at ERCs um, at or near record levels. Looking at how those ERCs have been evolving over time. GB17 in uh, northern Nevada, which did receive some precipitation with the past storms, has recovered. You can see that green line that has trended upward pretty rapidly with the hotter, drier weather we've seen. Uh, GB31 in uh, eastern Utah looked at a similar trend with a pretty sharp downward spike but a quick recovery. Satellite this morning uh, just shows a few clouds across the southern part of the Great Basin under high pressure. Today we are sitting under a high pressure ridge. Uh, with moisture underneath that ridge we are expecting uh, lightning this afternoon and the areas we're most concerned about are highlighted in on that significant fire potential map on red. Um, one big concern with these storms is the potential for really gusty outflow winds uh, in the vicinity of any storms that develop. Uh, this precipitation amount map gives a general idea of where those storms will develop this afternoon. And looking at relative humidity on the right, you can see uh, with some moisture in place, relative humidities aren't as low as uh, we often see, uh, but still uh, right around critical values. As we move into Friday, that ridge begins to shift east, allowing uh, more moisture across the area. Now we are looking at the potential for lightning across portions of uh, eastern Nevada, northwestern Utah, uh, western Utah. Uh, coverage will be more widespread than what is on the significant fire potential map, but these are the main areas of concern. Uh, you can see from that precipitation amount uh, map on the left, again, um, widespread storms expected on Friday, a mix of wet and dry storms, and uh, be aware of the potential for gusty outflow winds near storms that develop. As we move into Saturday, an upper level low begins to move into the area. We will see winds increase ahead of that storm system. Uh, we have highlighted portions of northern Nevada for the wind threat on Saturday. This is concerning following the lightning that we are expecting over the next couple of days. And with moisture across uh, the eastern part of the Great Basin, still looking at the potential for a mix of wet and dry storms across eastern Utah on Saturday. And again, looking at that in more detail, again, pretty widespread storms on Saturday. A mix of wet and dry, um, but again, those, those gusty upflow winds could cause issues. Over the next three days, uh, we're looking at pretty spotty precipitation associated with storms that develop. As we move into Sunday, uh, that upper level system begins to move to the north of the Great Basin. Uh, we don't have any highlights on the fire potential map on Sunday, uh, but each afternoon, really through next week, we'll see breezy winds. So we're not highlighting any one area specifically for the winds on Sunday. Um, most likely winds will be right around or just below critical values, but there uh, will be gusty winds across uh, portions of the Great Basin on Sunday. As we move into Monday, uh, things looking pretty similar. Again, I uh, would expect some breezy afternoon winds across much of the Great Basin on Monday. And then heading into Tuesday, keeping that similar pattern, looking at some drier air moving into the southern part of the Great Basin, uh, but with those uh, 
weather pattern, those weather systems moving by to the north of the area uh, would expect to see afternoon breezy conditions continue to develop on Tuesday, um, and that remains the case into Wednesday. In the seven-day period, again, looking at whatever uh, precipitation we see from those thunderstorms. Then finally, in the 8- to 14-day period, uh, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for uh, warmer and drier conditions than normal across the majority of the Great Basin. So that's it. If you have any questions, pl please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.